All right, hello, welcome to this gin showdown. It's 11.46 on this humid, overcast winter day <laughs> with a 74 degree temperature. Um, not that unusual for Louisiana, honestly. People got oranges on all their trees. So sweet, but so acidic. I mean, you enjoy the sweetness, then you'll be like, it's burning my eyes out. Okay, um, so I have the Seagram's Distillers Reserve Gin. Not sold in Louisiana yet. I found it at three different spots. So, <laughs> what do you know? I called the distributor. They're like, we don't sell that in Louisiana. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. Oddly, I'm finding it in multiple locations. And then we have the world famous <laughs> Crystal Perilous London Dry Gin. Sold at all the finest gas stations. Oh my word. Ten High, Ancient Age, Mims, Seagram's, Crystal Palace. Uh, you know, four dollars ninety nine cents, fourteen seventy five plus tax, plus tax. So I mean, what do you expect? They look the same because they're clear, gray neutral spirits. With, with, with flavorings. Juniper berries and etc. and natural flavorings, flavorings and etc. <laughs> of some sort. Okay, uh, Seagrams and Crystal Palace. All right, and then I, I when this experimentation, extrapolation, barometric configuration is finished, <laughs> then I'll do the this with the this, the Crystal Palace with the extraordinary Mims distilled in the dry. Never had it, my daughter's had it. I said, how is it? She says, uh, eh, it's okay, it's okay. She had the big plastic one liter, excuse me, 1.5 liter. You know, back in the 1930s and 40s, there was a Seagram's whiskey called Ancient Bottle. And interestingly, it had the big A and the big B in that stylized, you know, calligraphic thing. Same color red. And then, mysteriously, a company, I think it was Barton, suddenly introduced Ancient Age and uh, had a different bottle design. You know, maybe somebody was trying to pull something. Now they got it like a Jack Daniels bottle, which like everybody does, right? Jim Beam and Ancient Age and Early Times and um, Benchmark, yeah, they do. Um, this is only aged three years. There's one called Ancient, Ancient Age, aged ten years, but I'm still trying to find out about that. Ten High is another story. All right, but let's get back to this. So. Um, you know, the, the, the appearance isn't going to throw me off because they look the same, right? These snifter glasses, which were given to me yesterday. So I'm very appreciative. I'm not going to name who for geopolitical reasons. All right, so I, I think I'll be able to tell them apart. I mean, you know, it's like serviceable at best and like actually good. Yeah, already I think I know the answer. But I was, I made a colossal and catastrophic, catastrophic failure with the, um, the two cognacs, right? I did the um, Hennessy Black versus Hennessy Privilege. I thought I nailed them. I was talking a bunch of talk. And it was a, you know, pretty embarrassing failure. But you don't learn unless you do it. And you don't. 
take chances unless you take chances, you know, whatever. So anyway, there's really no aroma here. It's just like muted, kind of standard, stale with a little bit of spiced uh, thing going on. And you get that with all, a lot of these like, what do you call them, popular priced products, store brand. It's not that, not that they're necessarily bad. You know, we were doing the cornflake uh, analogy earlier, frosted flakes. It's just that there's not a lot happening. Here you're getting the lemony aspects, the juniper berries, the uh, intricate characters. So, I don't know, I'm going to take a taste. Maybe that'll change the game, but I don't believe it will. Yeah, it's got a rich, what you would call like a bursting flavor. Lots of spices, lemon, the juniper berries. It can stand on its own. It has something going for it. You don't mind paying the, you know, three, you know, three times the amount. This. Yeah, it's just, it's just like flat, like pfft. not necessarily off-putting or like um, bad, like the Hartley brandy, which mm, you almost have flashbacks with that. But um, you know, post-traumatic drinking disorder. But um, it's just it it lacks anything. And that's why it's so cheap. Um, so yeah, I think you know it, it. It's just like dull. It's like it's just not like it's sickening. It's just like there's nothing there. Like my father says, inert. It's like drinking or eating inert. I wouldn't buy it. I mean, I bought it to do the review, but to actually buy it to drink. But that's. Honestly, a moot point because I don't really buy hard liquor to drink. I, drop, I buy it for video purposes. Literally, you say, ah, oh, you're, you're, you're an old drunk. You're a, you stupid fool. But honestly, that is the reason for video review purposes. Um, I, I didn't see small bottles of this. If I'd have seen the 200 milliliter, I'd have bought them. But I didn't see them. I saw Canadian Mist. People say, Can Canadian Mist, I'm about to jump off a bridge. You know what? It's been around a long time. A lot of people buy it. I'm not saying it's good. I've never had it. You know, <laughs> well, yeah, I'll, I'll look at it. Um, so, you know, whatever. Let's see if I got it right. So, Dollsville. The beauty. The beauty. Yeah, Crystal Palace. And Seagram's Distillery Reserve. So, you know, if you're like really reluctant to spend any money for a quality product, get this. It, I mean, you won't really enjoy it, but you'll be able to talk yourself into it and make arguments like, you know, that stuff's not so bad. I'm saying right here, it's not so bad. It's just not so good. And then if you want to, and a lot of people might watch this and say, uh, boom, hello, $15 is not a lot of money for a 750 milliliter bottle of gin. Um, you, need to, you need to learn what this is about. I, I recognize that. But, you know, you can get this and actually have something that's something credible to discuss. But anyway, you know, so... This was an easy uh, task. I thought it would be. The Hennessy was hard, you know, but then you're looking at two fairly elevated products and they both have their, uh, like, complex attributes and qualities and legitimacies and all of that. And whereas this one really does not. So I think this and this is going to be a close contest. That's my presumption from my feedback from my daughter. She never said bad or she just, she just said, you know, it serves its purpose. So thank you for watching this fabulous video production.